Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge bringing you a Twitter bootstrap tutorial on forms. So today we're going to look at three other forms uh, within Twitter bootstrap. The basic form, the search form and the inline form. So we're going to go jump straight into Coder and I've got a template set up. So this is the template that I'm going to be using. Uh, for this template, you can either pause the video and copy it down, or you can see one of my pre well my previous video on Twitter Bootstrap on how to set up Twitter Bootstrap, and you'll we'll go through this, and you'll get to the same stage. But I'm not going to cover that in this video. So to start off with, I'm going to make three forms with the class of well. So a well in Twitter Bootstrap is just a grey div, effectively, that looks like something that's within the page and it's grey. So if I quickly show you that, that's what these wells look like. And it's within a container, which doesn't go all the way to the edge of the page. And our first one is just going to be the basic form. That doesn't need any extra classes, but I'm going to add a legend up here, just so you can see which one is which. So within here we're going to do two labels and two input fields with username and password. So type text and the class is span3. Now span3 is a length or a size of input fields so you can do spam 1 to 12 depending on how you set up your bootstrap it comes default with 12 but for our input fields 3 is a, is a good size for inputs so we're gonna have another label and this one's gonna be password This is going to have a class of span 3 as well. And then we're going to have a paragraph tag just to bring us on a new line and two buttons with the class of BTN. And this one, BTN primary. Now, this is the default, well, not the default color, but It's the primary color that is always used within Bootstrap. So let me just get this typed out. So here we have two inputs with the label of username and password, and then we have two buttons. Now, all buttons must have the class of BTN. This gives you the standard button, and then any class after, which is BTN dash something will style the button for you. Now btn-primary gives you a dark blue style button. So let's go take a look at that. And this is our vertical form. This is what it looks like. So everything's vertical. We got the label on top of the input field and then the label on top of the input field again. And then the buttons are like in line together. So this is our basic form. You don't actually need any class for the form as it's default. All forms will be this unless you specify otherwise. So, moving on to our search form. For this one, we need to, in the form class, we actually need to add form-search. Now, this applies the CSS for the search form. And in here, we're going to have input type equals text and class of span3 again and we have to add search query to the class and we're also going to give it placeholder this is nothing to do with bootstrap but just html5 and then a button to search so this is submit class equals button So here we have an input field with the class search query 
and then we have a button with the blue color again so if we go ahead and preview this you can see that this is almost like an inline form and it pretty much is but it's a search form specifically for searching it can be placed at the top of your web page and then you can submit a search so moving lastly onto our inline form in our form class we need to add form dash inline and now an inline form is where all your elements within the form will sit on a line so we're going to add legend again and we're going to have two input fields again a username and password and we're going to make these slightly smaller so these are span two as they're all on one line we need to have them slightly smaller and the same again for our password field and then we need button and again with dark blue color now in another video we will go over the different types of buttons that we can use there are seven I believe And when we take a look at this, as you can see, all of the form uh, elements are on the one line. So you can have multiple elements on that one line, and they should stay on the one line until you start resizing the page, and then they'll collapse properly if you've got the responsive uh, add-on to the Twitter bootstrap. So that's a brief introduction to forms. We've covered three out of the four, and I hope you like this video. I'm going to continue with the Twitter Bootstrap series. We're going to cover many of the other things, such as buttons, icons, some of the more, uh, some more of the JavaScript plugins, and that's about it. So, please like the Dev Lounge on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at the Dev Lounge. I'll leave the information in the information section below. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.